We hope you will enjoy the following ranking. Please let us know your favorite in the comments and make sure to subscribe to never miss a good movie again. Number five. Got a little surprise for you, son. No, 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 Dad! Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Yeah, I am. You're not getting a Porsche. <laughs> Let me tell you something, son. A driver don't pick the cars. Mm -mm. The cars pick the driver. It's a mystical bond between man and machine. a technological civilization far superior to our own. Our enemy can take any shape. They could be anywhere. It's a robot. You know, like a super advanced robot. It's probably Japanese. No, 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 no! Move! All right, you shoot! You have to get the car. Trust me. Bring it! Number four. The city council of Blaine gave me the responsibility of putting together a show to celebrate the 150th anniversary of Blaine. I took the whole history of the town and I squeezed it like a piece of fresh bread. I think the uh, one really important thing that I learned in working with Corky is that I do indeed have talent. My booby made a kishka. She made it big and fat. My Zeta took one look at it and said, I can't eat that. I have found here in Blaine a gold mine of talent. <coughs> I think Johnny would be so perfect, don't you? He could be the next Keanu Reeves. We've got Ron and Sheila on board again. Midnight at the Angels. Newcomer Alan Pearl. I have a very lazy eye, which these uh, prescription glasses help. Libby. I've been working here at the DQ for about. Um, and of course, Lloyd and I, it's like rams butting heads. Certainly, Corky has brought something to our little theatrical community. He's definitely um, different. You know, he can just do everything there is to do. And there's only one other person in the world that can do that, and that's Barbara Streisand. I have a little announcement to make. Mort Guffman is going to come from New York City and see our show. We have one shot at this. We've got one performance with Mort Guffman coming to town. We need to hitch up our panties and run. Number three. Trevor, can I ask you something? Is someone chasing you? Not yet, but they will when they find out who I am. Oh, really? Who are you? thinner, you wouldn't exist. Uh, 
How are you doing, Resnick? I've had a lot on my mind lately. There's nothing I can't handle. Radio says there's a storm on the way. I'd say it's already here. I'm so tired. Everyone gets insomnia now and then. Steve, I haven't slept in a year. Sleep it on your own time. I need some help here. Have you noticed anything unusual lately? Unusual? You look like you've seen a ghost. Funny you should say that. The guys at work don't think you exist. Hey, what'd you do? <laughs> Something's happening to me, Stevie. Some kind of plot. I'm on to you, Miller. You know what revenge means, don't you? You okay? Don't I look okay? If you were any thinner, you wouldn't exist. What's wrong? I don't know. Deja vu. I need to see you now. In case something happens, I need someone to know. Hey! Hey, the boy guy! Someone chasing you? Not yet. <laughs> but they will when they find out who I am. Number two. Century Fox and George Lucas bring you an adventure unlike anything on your planet. Star Wars. Stop that ship! Blast them! I'd forgotten how much I hate space travel. Here they come. They're coming in too fast! The story of a boy, a girl, and a universe. Help me, Obi-Wan Kenobi. You're my only hope. It's a big, sprawling space saga of rebellion and romance. This station is now the ultimate power in the universe. I'll come with you to Alderaan. There's nothing for me here now. I want to learn the ways of the Force and become a Jedi like my father. It's a spectacle, light years ahead of its time. It's an epic of heroes. Good luck. Hit the accelerator. Yeah! And villains. <laughs> and aliens from a thousand worlds. Go that way. You'll be malfunctioning within a day, you that you scrap pile. Star Wars. A billion years in the making. The Force will be with you. Always. Number one. Look out there. Out there is the perfect lap. You see it? I think so. Most people can't. Carol Shelby. Maybe. Lee Iacocca, Ford Motor. 
Suppose Henry Ford II wanted to build the greatest race car the world's ever seen to win the 24 hours of Le Mans. What's it take? Well, it takes something money can't buy. Money can buy speed. What in about speed? We need a pure racer behind the wheel of your car. That's Ken Miles. I don't trust him an inch. We heard he's difficult. No, no, Ken's a puppy dog. No. Whatever it is, Shell, no. Trust me. You're gonna build a car to beat Ferrari with a Ford. Correct. And how long did you tell them that you needed? Two, three hundred years? 90 days. <laughs> This isn't the first time Ford Motors has gone to war. We know how to do more than push paper. Go ahead, Carol. Go to war. Thank you, sir. Do you think you can beat Ferrari? I can try. We're lighter, we're faster. And that don't work, we're nastier. Do you agree with our list? Please let us know in the comments. And for more top 5 movie videos, be sure to subscribe to Community TV.